Okay, getting the product, we will have Okay, one half the, okay, so actually there should be another part here, there. So this one should have a bracket here, there. So five times seven, that's 35. Negative 4 times negative 3 would be 12. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. 4 times 5 is 20. Then this one is negative 20. This one, negative 7. Negative 3 times 4 is 12. Negative 12. And negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. In performing the indicated operation, 35 plus 12 is 47 plus 1, 48, plus 20, that would be 68, minus negative 20, minus 7, negative 27, minus 12 so that would be 39 minus 5 negative 39 minus 5 is negative 44 44 Alright, so the answer should be 56 square units. So 68 minus negative 44 is 112. Then you divide it by 2 or multiply it by 1 half. So as you can notice, I edited the part of this example. So I cleared out all the stuffs here, but yeah, the quadrilateral, the area of this particular quadrilateral, if I connect this, okay, let's assume that it's straight, it should be straight, so we let this one as the, um, our first point, and then work counterclockwise, okay, so we just work counterclockwise, then here, and then there. Okay, then I corrected this. This should be y sub 3. And there. So that one. This, 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 this. Okay, I'll, let me emphasize. Alright, so the answer should be 56 square units. Since we're talking about area, our unit must be a square, a square unit. Okay, so this time it's time for you to do some exercises on your own. Maybe you could call a partner, or call, call a certain friend that can help you answer the exercises to be able to to be able to understand the topic better. So, these are the exercises. Please answer it on your notebook. You can pause the video, copy the given, and then you can go back with the other parts of the video or in the example part for you to be able to understand or to answer these exercises. Tomorrow, you'll be checking this together with your partner to test or to tell whether you understood the lesson or um, for you to be able to know if what you're doing is 
the right way of getting the area of a convex polygon. Thank you.